Would you like to become a fascinating personality, break free from plateaus, and gain power over your mental resources and your full potential? You came to the right place. Welcome to a magical journey to yourself. This show is made in Germany. If you like the show, please subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, or PureMindMagic.club. Welcome to Season 1, Shaping Your Reality. And here is your host, international magician, speaker, and book author, Victoria Mavis. gentlemen thanks for tuning in to pure mind magic today and december 24th merry christmas to you and thanks for staying with me 24 episodes in 24 days because we have december 24th i was looking for a very special guest for today and i'm quite sure that i kind of attracted him to me and to the show. His name is Antonio T. Smith Jr. He went from homeless to multi-millionaire and is now working together with Les Brown. He is also a celebrity business advisor and has given more than 2,000 keynotes around the world. This man has an astonishing energy and we immediately connected and I even thought about getting him as my next business mentor because he's so incredible and he really walks his talk. So I'm sure you will gain a lot of listening to this episode. He gives some great insights into business, into life, how to be more productive, stay at a high energy level for the whole day, how important meditation is and how this really can be a game changer for you and your business. Because we reached Christmas already. I hope you do have all your Christmas gifts together under the Christmas tree. So for today, there is just a short tip in case because the new year is coming. You are thinking of creating your own podcast next year because you found out of all this amazing opportunities podcasting delivers directly to your home, including having amazing international guests like I have today, then you should definitely grab a copy of my book, How Podcasting Can Change Your Life. You can get this from Amazon and it is written under my real name with the initials JSR, in case you are wondering. This book takes you through the whole podcasting journey and really motivates you and shows you why this can change your life when you have your own show with all these business opportunities, networking, and as a great marketing tool. So this is everything in one and you have the option to choose between the Kindle version and also a hard copy version, what you can get delivered to your home, what I always prefer because then you can take your marks and notes directly in the book. So this is my tip for today and now I won't hold back any longer but to bring Antonio on to the show so enjoy all this wisdom you are listening today and I really wish you a magical evening together with your family your partner and yeah just celebrate Christmas and now we are celebrating the 24th episode with Antonio T. Smith Jr. from Texas. Hi, Antonio. Welcome to Pure Mind Magic. Hi, how's it going? Very good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I, as soon as you introduced me, I took a yawn and I couldn't talk at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a nice intro already. So, Antonio, <laughs> you are traveling a lot on high energy. Where are you based at the moment? Well, I'm actually based in Texas in the United States. 
My principal office is in Galveston, Texas. It's an island off the coast of Texas. And if you go any further south than that, you'll be in Cuba or Jamaica. Mm, very interesting. And Antonio, you are really a special guest today. And you did some great things already, but I think you can best describe that in your own words. So let the listeners know who you are and what you're doing. Yeah, sure. I've, I've, I've been very fortunate to live a good life after I lived a terrible life. I was homeless from six years old all the way to 18. Today, I'm a multimillionaire. I'm very comfortable in living. I help other people become millionaires now. I public speak all over the world. I build business systems for rich people, including myself. I listen to podcasts like Victoria's. And I love, love, love Reese's peanut butter cups and Harry Potter. I just do. I'm sorry. I can't change it. But these are the things that I just love. Sorry about that one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is so cool, Antonio. And that makes you really unique. And this is something <laughs> really personal, I think. And wow, that is a, a huge transition to go from homeless to multimillionaire. So what would you say did change in your mindset? Yeah, mindset was everything first. And here's what I'll tell your audience. It is very important that we understand this, that before I got out of my trash can, because I literally lived in a dumpster, a, a city dumpster, my mind had to leave it first. One day I was sitting in a dumpster and I saw these little blinking lights and I thought it was a star. And of course it was a plane. And I, I just, I would imagine myself on this plane traveling the world, escaping my trash can. And today, that's, that's actually exactly what I do, just with a different motive. I travel the world helping others to escape their trash can. So I would say on a mindset level, wherever your mind goes, by scientific default, your body must follow. Mm, that is so nice, sad, and makes so much sense. So... Talking about becoming a millionaire, what would you say is the best advice really to break it down from the mindset perspective to get oh, on yeah, the path? Oh, yeah, sure. Absolutely. You need three things to become a millionaire, ladies and gentlemen. Three things, three things only. I didn't read this in a book. I know this from experience. Number one thing is you need a product. If you do not have a product, It means that you are working in the system of someone who does have a product and they are a millionaire. Okay, even if you're working at some mom and pop shop or some small business and they own the product, whoever owns that mom and pop or small business in that industry, they're the millionaire. So if you're at a little pizza place, whoever is giving them the pizza the cheese, the hamburger, whatever, they're the millionaires. So bottom line, number one, you need a product. With no product, you are stuck working for someone else that was brave enough to invent their own. The number two thing you need is a business system. And this is where most people go wrong. Most people have a product when they become entrepreneurs, but they don't understand business systems. And business systems allow you to leverage people's energy, time, assets, and resources, and especially their attention. The whole goal of being an entrepreneur is to not actually have to work at your own job or your own business, so to speak. Even though you love to work there, you should be able to travel to Victoria, drink some coffee and some beer and some tea, eat some croissants and still make money at whatever your hometown country is. And the third thing you need after that is to serve people. And that is where most people go wrong. At the end of the day, it's all about winning friends and influencing people, just like Dale Carnegie said, just like Napoleon Hill said. The truth is, if you don't serve people, you will find yourself with no money. Those are the three things, product, business system, people. Perfect. So there we got the magic formula. And I guess now it's all about implementing because it's one thing to understand what you have to do. But then it's what you said. I think most people go wrong. So what would be your advice to really stick with this knowledge and make it happen? 
Absolutely. And, and my advice would come in twofold, or I guess I would bifurcate this advice into two, two bits of piece of information. Number one, in order to be an entrepreneur or, or just to go and get to a million dollars or whatever it is, you got to take a lot of pain, a lot, a lot of pain, because money is just energy. And to, ex- to receive a million dollars worth of energy is to expend almost $10 million worth of energy. And in order for you to get to that $1 million, you got to take a lot of pain. The people who started with you, they, they're lying to you. They're not going to be there forever. Your husband's going to leave you. Your wife's going to leave you because you they're, they're going to be upset because you're so serious about your business at 2 o'clock in the morning. Whatever it may be, that's just going to happen. And the second thing, besides being able to take a lot of pain is you need a mentor. You need a mentor fast. This universe is not set up for you to be by yourself. As a matter of fact, it actually punishes people who tend to only want to be by itself. If you try to be by yourself and reproduce your genome to the next generation, you can't. Therefore, when you die, all your legacy dies with you. It's the same thing in nature. It's the same thing in business. It's the same thing in humans. We are meant to be connected and help one another. Mm, Very nice said. And that makes a lot of sense and explains that very well. So, Antonio, you're welcome. You also became a celebrity business business advisor. Can you share some secrets around that with us? (gasps) Yeah, sure. And the crazy thing is with the Celebrity Business Advisor, it's made me a celebrity in itself. My, I have really got my start, and I didn't realize it's about five years later, with Joel Osteen of Lakewood Church out of Houston, Texas. Everyone knows Joel Osteen is the perfect guy, you know, hope. Well, what should be successful? You know, that guy is so awesome. I interned with him from 2012 to 2014, and I, didn't, and I fixed a lot of things inside of... Uh, some some ministries inside of his church, and I realized, wow, I, I can do a lot of great things for a lot of affluent people. And <clears throat> secrets here are various. I lift lift. I'll list you some insider secrets. All CEOs are narcissists, no matter how humble they are. Okay, <laughs> you should probably realize that. <laughs> it, it's just the truth. We. I don't care if you're a podcaster to you know Mother Teresa. We all including me, we all are here to get credit for changing the world. Like we, we all are here for that. We are all here for that. And if you want to be a celebrity, a business advisor, what you need to do is you need to add value. Add value to Victoria before you ask Victoria for anything. And then you will get access to Victoria's everything. That's pretty cool there. And another thing is, um, with most celebrities and people of, of millions and billions of dollars, they eat well. They eat very well and they work out well. The truth is, they take care of themselves and their minds are sharper, their brains are sharper. So, you know, it's a little boring information there, but it is the truth. They eat well, they, they have fun, they party hard when it's time, and they read a whole lot. So I guess that would be some good insider information there. Oh, yes, it is. And uh, yeah, it's, it's so simple, but not easy to do it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. So, Antonio, you really worked your way up and really worked your way all up to working with someone like Les Brown. So yes. how do you make this happen? <clears throat> Yeah, Les Brown is a big old teddy bear. He's an amazing person. He's 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 exactly what you think he is. He's just a a powerful, world changing teddy bear. And I found him. I I left Joel Osteen 2014, and found Les Brown 2017. And the truth is, I had a large network. I was doing what the young folk would say, my thing and public speaking. A lot of people were following me and one of Les Brown's people reached out to me and asked me to join his network. He was starting, he was creating, he was legacy focused. He was creating the opportunity for people to be certified under his name. I joined that, I uh, became certified under his name and immediately the cream rises to the top, so to speak. And me being a 
millionaire business advisor and such, I ended up becoming Les Brown's business advisor, especially to Les Brown Unlimited. And that's how that happened. I mean, he actually found me and I'm glad he did because he has elevated and changed my whole career to a different path. And he's just all around great ground. I love his family, especially his youngest daughter, Serena Brown Travis. I love her to death. Wow, that is really awesome, Antonio. So do you have some mind power techniques in place? Like do you do some visualizing, meditation, or how do you bring these events into reality? Oh, yeah, absolutely. First off, I don't do nothing until I meditate. I just tell you that right now. If I wasn't on your podcast, I would have said another word there, right? But I don't do anything until I meditate whatsoever. And I, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me, hear me well. Your best spiritual or mental practice on planet Earth is meditation. Let's think about it this way. Medication, its whole purpose is to simulate harmony in the body. You take a pill, it chemically simulates your body in harmony. Once the chemical simulation expires, then you go back into disharmony and whatever is ailing you continues to ail you. Meditation actually creates harmony in the body to where you don't need medicine. I'm not against medicine. I'm just telling you medication simulates harmony. Meditation produces harmony. If you want harmony in every area of your life, steal your mind, silence it, And, and just become one with this universe and everything around you. And people will love you for it. Like I can tell Victoria has a high energy and a genuine person. I can feel her energy as she interviews me. And since I can feel her positive energy, it makes me want to open up my resources and help her out. People will avoid you. If they feel negative energy from you. So please meditate, please. And do your best to both embrace your cell phone and also not let it control you, which is saying a lot and saying a lot. You want to don't let it control you in the morning. You want to have that time to remind yourself how awesome you are. But then after your morning routine, use it to dominate your life because everyone's attention is on a cell phone. And if you can create a product around their attention, that would be great for you. You make a lot of money. Fair enough. Mm, definitely. Again, <laughs> a ton of advice from you. And uh, I love your take on meditation. So yes. I think that really makes the difference in becoming successful or uh, hitting the next failure. So, Antonio, Coming back to Les Brown once again, and because mm -hmm. of your meditation, I guess, you made it happen that Les Brown wrote the foreword to your brand new book coming out February 5th, 2019. So happy and grateful is the title. Yes. Can you give us a short preview about your book? Yes, and I'll even give you a short, entertaining story about how I got that four-word written. <laughs> I literally, I was going to fly out 3,000 miles to go see him because I had a meeting with him, but I didn't want to fly. I wanted to drive, so I drove 3,000 miles, and we were talking about a freaking, I don't know, 24-hour trip because I didn't want to have the restrictions of a plane ride holding me back. Like, I had got to catch my plane. And I wasn't going to leave Florida. I went from Texas to Florida. I wasn't going to leave until he wrote my foreword. And I was attracting it so much. And this was this was October 2017, okay? I was attracting it so much. No, no, that's not right. Uh, yeah, yeah, 2017. I was attracting it so much that as soon as I hit town in Florida, his his youngest daughter called me, and then he called me, and then... They say, hey, you want a foreword to your book? And I didn't even know I was writing a book. I literally attracted that moment and sat on the foreword for a year. The book, So Happy and Grateful, is about the eight universal laws in you. And, and it's actually part one of a three-part series. The first part is So Happy and Grateful. The second part is So Happy and Together. And the third part is So Happy and Rich. And I'm a real logical universe, universal laws type person. So I use the eight laws of the universe to of happiness to allow you to be happy because every single thing 
that comes through you will also manifest outside of you if you let it in. And if you just become happy, then you'll get every single thing that you want. And I'm not talking in this esoteric way. I just mean simply that love your life and life will give you much more love. And I walk it down to eight different universal laws. And then at the very end, I talk about the law of attraction, law of deliberate creation and the law of allowing. So it's a very practical book. It's actually one of the best in the world. I don't say that through confidence. I put a lot of research in it and it's already tearing up the charts and the design. It doesn't even come out to February 5th, but you can pre-order it on Amazon right now. Mm, that is so nice. And I'm now already very curious about finding out your laws, your general laws there. And I'm always attracted to the law of attraction. I think this is kind of yes. magical when you are able to work it right. That's right. That's right. The, the I live where I live in my life now. And, and when I teach people, I have five phases. I know some some other high level where there's people have different I bend my reality. I literally control and manipulate life the way I want it to go. I don't react to life. Life reacts to me. And when you get to that level of awareness, that, that's exactly why Les Brown called me to offer me a foreword on a book he didn't even know that I was driving out to him to get. Right? That's totally bending your reality because the universe knows the fastest, quickest, most harmonious way to get you anything. And I just encourage you all to be more like Victoria, love your life, law of attraction, interview crazy Harry Potter loving people like me and just have a good time in life because it's pretty awesome. Very nice. So it sounds to me like, Antonio, you are a kind of life magician with uh, what you are creating. And I like that you are shaping your reality really on a purpose and it's life by design and not default. Yes, yes. I love two things you said there. Life magician is what she called me. Yes, that's <laughs> awesome. And then I, life by design and not life by default. That is fantastic. And I think you should write both of those books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, life so and you write the foreword. <laughs> there it is. And I write the foreword. There it is. <laughs> that's amazing. So you see, we are already creating magic in this episode together. So this is when you connect with the right energies, right, Antonio? That's right. So, that's this right. Is about my, my next question. How do you attract like the ideal business partner or people to connect with even in private life that really oh, matches? That's the best question so far. In order for you, and I'm going to, this is an unpopular fact, okay? In order for you to attract the right business partner, the right spouse, the right mate, is you have to become the right person. And most people don't want to hear that. But like attracts like ladies and gentlemen let me say this to you as straightforward as possible but with a tone of kindness you have in your life what you are whether you like that or not the people in your life you're complaining about you're just like them you don't you may not want to admit it but you are them because scientifically like this is let's just take this out the philosophical understanding of the law of attraction And let's just go to the science of law of attraction, which is the law of vibration. Everything in this world is vibrating. And it's all vibrating at a frequency. And if you have it in your life, it means you first vibrated at that frequency. This means very simply that if you want the right person, you must be the right person. Inversely, it also means If you're mad at the wrong person, you are the wrong person because no one can exist into your life until you become them first. Mm, I love that. That almost gives me goosebumps how you formulated <laughs> that. So that is so great advice. But again, so it, it's uh, it's one thing to understand it. But what would be your tips, Antonio, to really make it happen and like, break it down because maybe you have this sure. ideal version of yourself but how do you approach it yeah here's how 
I'll give you my five phases in which I help. Well, my first three phases in which I help people. They're the most important parts. The number one thing you have to do is you have to change your perception. Now, I don't want you to confuse perception with vision. Vision is how you see something. Perception is, or vision is what you see. Perception is how you feel about what you see. And all of us are seeing the same things. We see the same news feed, the same news channel. You're you're listening to me and Victoria, the same ears, but you're hearing it through all your frame of reference. Change your perception, ladies and gentlemen. Change how much you become offended. And I will have a practice for all of you. In fact, for the next year, Make one prayer or whatever your spiritual practice is and say, I'm going to be the least offended person on planet Earth. When you do that, you will literally change your perception. Number two thing you can do is once you change your perception, once you stop saying it's happening to me instead of I control it or it's it's all their fault instead of it's all my fault. Because you should be, it's an all my fault person. Once you get to it's all my fault, the second thing you should do is love yourself. And this is what most people don't do. They get to the point where they realize, you know what? Everything in my life is my fault. And then boom, they start beating themselves up. No, love yourself. You are flossom. You're perfectly flossom. You're awesome with flaws. You are enough. You're the greatest thing on planet Earth. No one can sing with your voice but you. No one can dance with your feet but you. Control your perception and then literally love yourself. Because once you love you, anybody who don't love you cannot exist in your reality. I'll say that again. Once you love you, anyone who doesn't love you cannot exist in your reality. And then number three and the most important part is forgiveness. You need to walk in a total, constant, ever going, steadfast state of forgiveness. You should be forgiving people for what they did next year and they haven't even done it yet. Because the last thing you want to do is spend negative energy, any energy on people and being right when instead it's your birthright to be rich. So recap, change your perception, love yourself, and then forgive everybody, regardless if they're right or if you're right or if they're wrong. Mm, wow, that is so strong, Antonio, what <laughs> you're saying there. And uh, it's really uh, life-changing, the advice you're giving here. So no wonder that you gave already more than 2,000 keynotes all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you said you're traveling a lot. But how did you start to approach this whole thing about giving all these keynotes and really become this expert in public speaking? Yeah, you know, the crazy thing is I'm one of the speakers that have to admit that I knew I was going to do this. I didn't try to do it, but it was my, my future was set. When I was in high school, I was a jock. I played football. I was on varsity football and I separated my shoulder and I broke my ligaments, my tendons and everything. And I had this school teacher who was a speech and debate coach when I was in sophomore year, that's 10th grade. And He told me, he challenged me, and I, I so hate challenges. Like, I'm, I'm always like, come on, I'll jump off this building for 50 cent, you know, something like that. I'm, I'm so much of a challenged person. And he says, man, I challenge you to come with me in speech and debate. And I was like, I'm not going to do that, man. I'm not going do speech and debate. Speech and debate is it's like for nerds, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> But I ended up doing it, and I lost my first meet. I, I lost my first tournament. I got out the prelims and I lost semifinals. And after that, I went home. I practiced. I never lost again. I went 20 from sophomore year, junior year, senior year. I never, ever lost again. First place trophies at the first place trophies. I qualified for every college in my in the whole nation, or in the whole state of Texas, just for the speech team. I didn't go. I ended up going to the Army. 
They went to the army for a little bit and then come back. Public speaking is pulling at me again, pulling at me again, whether it be for hip hop music or just poetry, whatever it is. So I always knew that public speaking was my way. Did I know it was going to help make me a millionaire? No, not at all. (laughs) Not at all. But I did know the way I process information, the way I articulate myself when I feel like it, the way I can jump up to a banker's level or come down to a thug's level. I did always know words were for me. They lay down at my feet and bow at my mercy. Mm, wow, that are also some great words you're using to describe that. So you're really the man of words. <laughs> and you know, magicians also use magic words yes. and, uh, to change the perception. So we have some similarities here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I like that. And uh, Antonio, how is it possible like for the listeners to work with you when they get even more interested? Are you still coaching? Coaching people or working as a mentor or what would be a way to uh, get in contact with you? Yeah, that's fantastic. I actually coach people. I coach businesses and I work as a mentor to this day. To this day, as much as I travel, I have an outstanding team around me. I have two publicists, in-house publicists. And I have a wonderful business partner and just a fantastic team, counselors, spiritual coaches. So I'm always available to take on new people. The best way to get in touch with me would be actually, you know what? You know what? I was I was going to say Facebook. Here's the best way to get in touch with me, ladies and gentlemen. Go to the show notes of Victoria's podcast and only go there. Aha. Now you got to go through Victoria to get to me, right? <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Only go through her to get through me. And when I and then mention mention the name of this podcast, and what I'll do is I'll give you special favor, attention, and even a fifty percent discount. ATS Business University, just all sorts of stuff. If you Google my name, Antonio T. Smith Jr., you'll it, it just everywhere you'll see it. You, you'll see it first twenty pages of Google or something. But go through this podcast to get in touch with me because I can feel her energy and she's an amazing person. I'd far rather you boost her economy to come to mind. <laughs> wow, that is so nice of you, Antonio. Thank you so much. <laughs> so everyone who's listening, think of mentioning Pure Mind Magic when you reach out for Antonio. And now it's about to get more secrets out of your brilliant mind. So, Antonio, let us know, how do you create it like that you stay in this high energy the whole day long? So how do you start your day? What is your kind of a morning routine? You mentioned already meditation and Mm -hmm. eating clean, working out, but what would be some practical tips to start a day without getting controlled by your smartphone and then really keeping this high energy? Because I know a lot of people that start really good into the day, but then they kind of lose track around lunchtime. So how do you keep the energy high? Yeah, and I definitely keep the energy high, that's for sure. I have, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what I do for my day. And then hopefully all of you can see the lens of you through me. I've already mentioned meditation because you got to get you right before you try to go get others right. Okay, You got to fill you up. So when people take from you, they're taking from your overflow and not from your cup. That's very important that you that that everyone gets that after that. Here's what I do in this order. I used to work out in the mornings. Now I work out in the evenings. It just kind of worked a little bit better for my schedule. Then I catch up on current events in the news, not because I want them to alter my mood, because please know the news is always going to alter your mood. That's their job. They pay for that simply because so I can know how to bend my reality around what they are trying to get me to do. What I'm basically saying there is I understand the system so much, I stay away from it. Understand the system so much that you stay away from it. After that, I literally love on myself. I put on an audio book 
And I'm listening this morning. I was listening to Albert Einstein. There's a book written by Albert Einstein called His Life and His Universe. And I've been reading by Albert Einstein. And this is, I'm sorry, I wake up at three in the morning or, yes, zero, three hundred hours. By six hundred hours or six in the morning, depending on where you are in the country, I literally have done more than most people do all day. After that, then I really have fun. Okay. (laughs) I really have fun. I get me, I try to eat me a large breakfast or I drink a whole lot because I just want to start my day off full. There's health benefits that I take smaller meals, but at the same time, it's just really something feels good when you eat a large breakfast. I don't know about it. It's just something about that. It just makes you feel like it's your birthday or something, right? Uh, you know, I don't know. Eating a really large breakfast makes you feel like it's your birthday. And then here's what I do. And this is the most important thing I do, which is very practical for all of you. I only do what makes me a genius. And, and, and hear what I'm saying very well. Come seven o'clock, I don't do anything else that doesn't make me a genius. I cannot stress this enough. If it makes me average, good, spectacular, really good, I don't do it. I only do what makes me a genius. Anything else I give to other people around me. I accomplish four major tasks a day. That's it. Everyone else has a long to-do list. Every morning I sit down and I say, I'm going to do these four major tasks. And by major tasks, I mean defining moments. If I was to complete this today, it would totally change my life. And what happens, Victoria, on the way there is I simply gather hundreds and thousands of small victories throughout my day. Now, think about this for a second. If I'm only living in my gifts, if I'm only doing what makes me a genius, and if I got 500 small victories under my belt before you meet me at 3 p.m. or, or, or 1,600, no, it's not 1,600, or 1,500, right? You, you have no choice but to meet me at high energy. I'm living my best life. Every day you meet me, you're going to meet me on the happiest day of my life because I only did what makes me happy. That's really my secret. And that's really why I'm so amped on this podcast right now. And if you meet me in Australia or wherever, I'm going to be amped then too. I'm going to be ready to you know, do something great with you because that's just how I live my life. I, I guess I can conclude that by saying, only do what makes you a rocket scientist genius. And if you don't do that, then you're not going to like your life. Mm, that is so cool. And that is really a big secret that can be a game changer, I would say. So when you stick with it. So Antonio, is there a chance to like meet you in person to come to one of your speeches or do you, how do you normally work when you are on stage? Yeah, you can meet me in person with any place. I'll be in Mumbai, February, something. I have no idea because I don't control my calendar at all. <laughs> I'll be somewhere around the world. But what did you say? February? Around Valentine's Day, okay? My publicist is to whisper to my ear, Valentine's Day. So I'll be somewhere around February 14th. I'll, I'll be there. But here's what I do because I really, really love my life and I love my fans. And I'm I'm not the only millionaire that does this. Gary Vee is like this. There's a few other people. I love for you to reach out to me and tell me where I should be next. And if I have a fan base out there, if you have a large whatever out there, or, or even if I have to be large, if you have some intimate fans out there, I will literally come to you to your event. I will. I do it all the time. I will fly out to wherever you are, Russia. I mean, it doesn't matter. I will fly out to you as long as, you know, your event is something that is pretty cool and aligned with, you know, changing the world or something, then you can find me there. And I do it all the time. So whether it's one of my events or you and I connect and I jump out to one of your events, me and my fans or anyone who appreciates me, we can always connect that way. Hmm. That sounds really fantastic and I think enhances the chances to really meet you in person and get a piece of your great energy to just feel inspired and pumped after seeing you perform on stage. So 
Towards the end of the interview, Anthony, I would like to come back once more to the law of vibration, what you mentioned. And I just love playing with this law. And I think it also has to do with the frequency. Yeah. So what would you say are the best ways to change the vibration? Because I know a lot of people are dealing with being in a bad mood and just not getting things right. And how do you change on purpose really the vibration or the frequency? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's sitting in the middle of, of your the name of your podcast, Pure Mind Magic. Let's break that down. Pure, this is energy that serves you okay so we have energy that serves you and this is what people should be doing you only need to be with the pure energy that serves whatever you're going to do and then obviously mine okay and then you have your mind you're sitting there with the mind and everything in your mind is the real world everything outside your eyes is the fake world in the real world We manifest what we call this reality, but it's fake because what's actually real is the mind. And then we manifest that into the real world. And then lastly, magic. And for me and many people like me, magic is just gratitude. Nothing else. Magic to really get magic out of life is to be grateful over the few things you have so you can be rulers over the many things you desire. You start with energy. Albert Einstein and his equation E equals MC squared. Energy is simply, well, mass is simply energy collected over time into one spot and then that energy becomes a thing. You, once you put enough energy in a dedicated area, that energy becomes mass. So if you have your energy pure to what serves you and you let your mind uh, correct that and have good thoughts that serve you and then be grateful with magic, you know, like be grateful over the meal you just ate, grateful for being interviewed. You know how happy I am to be on another podcast? Y y'all don't have to listen to me. Victoria doesn't have to. No one has to listen to me, but people always call to listen to me. There is no reason not to be grateful for that. And if you're grateful over your children, grateful over what you have, sprinkle that magic grateful dust everywhere, you will literally get to travel and be everywhere, at least everywhere that serves you. Mm, that is so nice. And obviously, I picked the right title for this podcast because you yes. summed it all up <laughs> and uh, created the magic like you connected all the dots together. So uh, again, you are a brilliant mind and you just understood <laughs> my hidden concept. <laughs> There it is. There's a hidden concept. We got it. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that's why I was very attracted to the podcast. I mean, it's a beautiful title. And you're a beautiful person. And it, for me, it was just, it was simple. And, and you're right. I'm, I'm glad that you had that hidden meaning there and you named it that. Great. So thank you so much for that, Antonio. And I have two last questions for you. Sure. So one is really simple. And it is because you mentioned that you are a big Harry Potter fan. So I am. What is your favorite Harry Potter film? Oh, that is a great question. Let's see. My favorite one would be the Goblet of Fire. It has to be. When, and I don't I think that's the fifth book maybe, or the fourth. It's when he's a little bit teenager. I think it's year four. And they put all the names in the Goblet of Fire and they go off on the competition. Oh, that is my favorite one because people respect who Harry is by now. But then they still kind of doubt them. And Harry kind of, he, he becomes a warrior in that book and, and also in that movie, too, that is parallel to the book. I love Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Love it, love it, love it. But I watch all of them. And I, I have all the books. I'm such a, I'm so a nerd. I have all the books. And I never, I don't let anybody touch the books. And I have all the movies. And, and of course, I watch the movies like crazy. Mm. 
That is so fantastic and so magical, obviously. Yes. <laughs> so, Antonio, that was really pure inspiration. So the whole episode from start to finish with you, with all this uh, wisdom you shared with us. So I would like to leave the last words for this episode up to you. So what would you like to leave the listeners for today? Another pure inspiration, a quote, whatever you like. Yeah, sure. Normally, I would sign off on all my podcasts or whatever I do, and I say move before you're ready, which is solid advice, but I, I feel I should say something different here. Be happy, please. You would never get the money you desire or the dreams you desire until you're happy. Most people, and by most, I mean 90% of the people on this planet have it backwards. You believe if you get it, then you'll be happy. But you'll never get it until you become happy without it. Really nice words from you. So, Antonio, it was really a pleasure and an honor to have you as a guest on Pure Mind Magic today. And I would love to stay in contact and even more like bringing you back. Yes, please bring me back all the time. I would love to. I just love your energy. Please stay in contact. And fans of Pure Mind Magic, you're in the right podcast. I promise you this is a fantastic podcast. I've already subscribed. I can't wait to listen to anybody else and anything that you do, honestly. Great. Thank you so much, Antonio. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for listening to Pure Mind Magic and my incredible, powerful interview with Antonio T. Smith Jr. today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the show. And also, if you like the show, please recommend it to a friend of you. You can do so by social media or WhatsApp or by email. Just send a link with Pure Mind Magic to someone you think this might help. So we got it. The 24 episodes are done. We are celebrating Christmas wherever you are in the world at the moment with snow or without snow or on the beach. There are endless possibilities. I just hope you have a really nice time today together with your family and you get some great magical Christmas gifts for you that make you smile and happy. So I also hope you enjoy some good food tonight for Christmas and have a joyful time uh, together with your loved ones. So this will be now a Pure Mind Magic holiday because I'm on holiday too. So you can expect the next episode on December 31st, New Year's Eve. So this is the end of this year and then also the beginning of the new year. And I'm changing the name of myself, the Victoria Mavis, will turn to JSR. And in this episode, I will explain to you why, because there is a story behind that. And it is a transformation. And a lot of things were going on this year. So the podcast will stay with the name Pure Mind Magic. Don't worry about that. But just don't be confused about the name changed to JSR. This is first to give you an idea because my real name is Jennifer and people are always confused between Jennifer and Victoria and is it the same person? So this is one thing, but I will tell you the whole story in this episode and we will kind of talk about reinvention and to reinvent yourself like many artists like Madonna have done in their history. So this will be then an interesting episode for sure. So make sure to tune in and subscribe to the show because with that you will get the direct notification when the new and latest episode is online for you. All the best to you. Have a magical Christmas time. Until soon, create some magic.